Hey guys, welcome. Uh, today we're doing part two of the uh, 16 by 16 Victorian house. So uh, in this episode, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, rest of the exterior and start working on the interior. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I actually want to make sure this is still 16 by 16 because I might be wrong. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's 16 by yeah, it's still 60 bucks, so that's cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and continue with the exterior trim of the light gray uh, wool. Um, let's go ahead. Cause I didn't like the ring around it at the beginning, so. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, or five, five block high ceilings because they are cool and luxurious. Um, in real estate, the higher the ceiling height, the more luxurious it's considered. Um, and high ceiling height is actually typical of older houses. Usually the older the house, um, the higher the ceiling usually is, unless it's like a cheaper built house. But usually Victorian houses like these have like 12 foot ceilings or 10 foot ceilings, 12 foot ceilings, sometimes even 14 foot ceilings. Really, really high. Really, really nice but uh, quite a stair climb if you live in one of those houses you know um, the house I'm from we have nine foot ceilings and you have to go up uh, 15 steps to get to the second floor which at first isn't bad but if you're like me and had to live in the attic you had to and like all the laundry stuff was in the basement it's quite a climb so uh, just a little side note anyway um, what we're doing now is go ahead and continue the uh, uh, simple roof line which is just this uh, simple triangle form it has to it. Let's go ahead and finish that. Get rid of the access. I keep breaking the wrong block. Get rid of the access and then let's go ahead and build the uh, center spine for it. Oop. What happened? I don't know. Let's go ahead. All right, and then people always talk about, oh, I can't build without World Edit. I just can't do it. And as you guys saw, I have yet to use World Edit. I probably only use World Edit for the floors, and that's it, because that's all you really need it for, if you even need it. And that's just to speed things up. You don't need World Edit to build. And those of you who think you need World Edit to build, just practice building without world edit. It's really not that bad. It's really not that bad. So let's go ahead. Maybe in tedious parts like these. But I mean I'm just doing this to save some time. But it's not that bad. People are like, I just I need world edit. I can't work without world edit. And like also People, I mean, it kills me. People are like, ah, oh, I can't build without it being day. Like, if it's nighttime and we refuse to uh, make it daytime for you, just place some glowstone or torches down like normal people. I mean, what if you're like on a survival server where that's just part of it, the night and day. I mean, just think how, how bad it would be if it was raining. Like, we have rain disabled, which I actually don't like. I kind of wish there was rain. I've owned the server for so long, I don't even remember what rain is like. I kind of wish there was more rain, but, I mean, that's that's just me. So, so this is this is what a simple roof line is. So, complex, simple, also over here, complex. This is a complex roof line. And simple, so, you know, there's different styles for different things. Whatever floats your boat. So let's go ahead and go in and start filling out the uh, the floors. Uh, I'm just going to do regular wood for this and then I'm going to have dark wood for the rest. So I replaced the zero with the dark wood. Here we go. Um, this, is, this is one kind of complaint I guess I have about this texture pack. I mean, it kind of does what the default does. Um, all the wood planks look exactly the same, just different colors. I actually like Mises where 
Um, not only were they different colors, there was also different textures. I thought that was pretty cool. But that's just me being picky, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and finish out this floor. There we go. Oops. I meant to do replace zero. Yeah, that was a little bit of lag there, but it happens. It's a Minecraft server. Deal with it. <laughs> Um, so, yeah. Uh, next thing, I'm going to go ahead and add the stairs in. What kind of stairs do I want with this? Um, I have two options. I can, well, I think because of, I guess, the space that I have, I'm just going to do, uh, not the switch back, but more of a, a L-shaped stair, staircase. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, so we get our stairs, trusty stairs. So, that, there we go, and then, okay, uh, let's get rid of this, there, so that's our staircase, I might not even have to, well, whatever, so, yeah, there we go, staircase. Get rid of this access crap. There we go. Alright, so we got our staircase. Now we can start planning out or putting up the walls inside. I usually do interior layout, then start doing the exterior walls off of the layout of the interior walls. That's kind of what I base it off of. So uh, we got a door here, archway here. Another archway into the dining room, and then a smaller archway into the kitchen. So, there we go. Coolio. Alright. And then, for up here, I have... It's going to be the wall for that uh, bedroom. And then... Ooh, space is tight right there, so I'll probably have to extend that, make that door... And then, where's the wall for the, right here? Does that mean that's going to be the wall for the upstairs too? Alright, so this is the, that's going to be the master bedroom in there. Ooh, that, that's kind of small. So yeah, so we get a little bit more space right there. Um, oh, I need to do, let's go ahead and do the stairs up to the attic as well. Let's go ahead and make these stairs. Alright. Cool. Head do that. Um then up. Stairs are like I don't know, but it can be like a calling card for de design sometimes. It's weird. Like there's designs that can be you can base your design entire design concept around stairs. It, it's, it's crazy, really. It's weird how important stairs are to a building. So, this is going to be a, a bathroom, bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. Cool, cool, cool. So, alright. Let's go ahead and continue with that. So, now we got the lay layout of, excuse me, of uh, the uh, interior spaces, so let's go ahead and start doing the walls for the exterior. So let's go ahead and get some of this, or just some of this stuff. This uh, stuff that I don't need. I need that. I need this. I need that. Um, that's it for now. Let's go ahead. So I'm going to have a wall here for sure. Alright, and then another thing. When you're making, or when you're starting to do your exterior walls, the planning of them, Make sure you keep in mind where you're going to have your windows because you don't want windows right against a wall like that. It, it just kind of looks weird. Or like in the corner like this and then have like a wall like this. Cause it, it, that just looks weird from the inside and out. So um, what I usually try to do is keep windows, if I can, at least two or three blocks distance away from an interior wall and an exterior wall so I have two here and then I have one just because space and then a window so 
from inside and out. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and do the mid height window here. And one, two, three, there. Okay, and then let's go ahead, because there's a wall right here, which means there's going to be a wall there. And then we have to put in a, a wall right next to that window. It's because it has to be like that. It has to be like that. It's because it will look weird otherwise. Alright, so let's go ahead and put another window there. Looking good. Um, oh, since I did do a switch back here, that means this, the window for this will probably be somewhere like that. And I might be able to do like, I don't know, but there's going to be a cut in the roof where that's going to be. So, I'm going to put this wall here and then put that there. Alright. Okay. Coming along. And then there's going to be a window right here. Oops. Put that. It's not going to be. I'm probably going to have like, uh, get in here, the uh, bathtub and shower combo kind of thing going on right here. So uh, keep the window higher for like privacy reasons and spatial crap. Spatial reasons. It just looks better and will work better too so alright let's go ahead and keep going with this finish up these exterior walls um, I usually don't do my kitchen exterior walls until I know the layout of my kitchen I don't know it's just I just feel weird trying to do the uh, kitchen walls and I don't even know how the kitchen's gonna work so I usually wait uh, wait until I do that, then I go in and do my uh, exterior walls for that, which I will show you guys in a bit. Uh, so I'm going to have window, probably a double pane, because that looks cool, right? Oh, almost messed up a little bit. Alright, let's keep on going. Awesome, awesome, looking good looking good alright since I am on a very small lot landscaping will probably be to a minimum um, like I said before like I mean I'm right up against the fence here no space back here so this will probably be a walkway to like a back door that opens up into this alley and then uh, over here I'll probably have some sort of garden uh, similar to what I did over here I built this house too so um, just come on, come to slash work Main Street, um, take a left, and then the street's right here. I built that house, and did this garden, probably do something similar to this over here. Um, but yeah, anyway, get back to, so, I know for a fact there's going to be a door right there, or a uh, wall right there, and then, again, wherever a mall, a, a mall, a wall we meets the exterior, cannot talk today but whenever a wall meets the exterior that means it's going to be a wall there by default I mean you're not going to put a window right there there's going to be a wall right there so um, just keep that in mind so oop, did that backwards so I'm going to have a window there window there and then a wall in between because I don't have enough space for a fireplace here which kind of sucks but oh well if that's my own fault want a fireplace I should have scooted it over but okay so for the dining room I want to have I don't know yet we'll see it's a double pane not a quadruple pane it's kinda extreme here um okay Oop. there we go looking good so let's go ahead and continue with that usually in the back of the house where the um, dining room meets like the exterior I guess you can call it um, there's usually a smaller window it usually doesn't hit the floor like here um, yeah something like that and there's usually some sort of cool like stained glass or etching in it but since this is Minecraft I can't do that um, so usually 
there's going to be a window there. So then if there's a window there, then it's obviously going to be a, a wall right next to it. And of course, this is the kitchen, so I'm, gonna, I'm trying to keep the kitchen layout in mind. Um, hmm. Let's see. Alright, so... Maybe refrigerator here, then sink here. So that means I'm going to have a higher window here and no window there. And then, actually, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do refrigerator here, stove here, and sink. Well, if I do that, that means... Oops, messed up. Oh, crap. I'm messing up all, all over the place. Alright, so... If I do that, then... Um... There. And then... Cool. So I'm going to have a sink here. Stove here. So if I'm going to do a stove here, then... Maybe I'll do windows on... Each side of it. Mm, we'll see how it works. And then... There. Actually, let's put that higher there. Actually, let's go even higher there. So I got, I'm going to have a stove here with some windows and sink. And then refrigerator is going to be on those walls somewhere. So, all right, let's go ahead and fly around from the outside really quick. Alright, cool. Alright, so that's pretty much the end of part two. Um, between now and part three, I'm probably going to go ahead and finish uh, uh, smoothing out the roof, kind of like over here, how they use steps. I'm going to go ahead and finish that and then put a wall on the roof as well. And um, do this uh, roof dormer for the stairs um, in between now and part three. So when you come back, that will already be done. And then we'll start to do um, the interior spaces of the house. So like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Tell your friends. Give me some support. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.